Guys, I had given up and went back to the car. Me and her separated. I never found a thing. I've been sitting in the car about 10 minutes waiting on her. I honked the horn and played music so she could know I was ready to go. And she walks up with these three giant yellows. Oh, there my go. God. Where? Over there. Yeah, but where in particular? You need to look harder right where we found them. That place that you have a water. By the water? By the pond? Look like a pond? Look like a pond, yeah. Right by that? Beside the tree. Oh my, was it a dying tree? Yeah, the, the, the next White. tree is dead. Died, died tree. And Guys, that must have been an uh, ash or elm. <gasps> my gosh, we're going to find a lot tomorrow. Guys, stay tuned. We're going all day morel hunting tomorrow, getting up very early. Southern Illinois, Southeast Missouri. Big road trip. We're going to go spot hopping several different spots. This is Ripley County, Missouri, near the current river. Very rocky and a lot of red clay, but you never know. It just You just got to try. Them are giants. Giant, yep. Show me holding them too once. Alright guys, it did not take long. I've been here about three minutes. Found my first two. Three. Giant one. Alright, we're on them. Good deal. Yes, three yellows. Actually, that may be a black. An older black. Boy, this one here is nice. They're probably all around me. That's a nice one here. Tucked under this leaf. Look at that one. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, man. Good deal. Now I'm confident. I got my confidence. Once I start finding them, now I'll pay more attention. And they're not real hard to spot, but they're not really that yellow. They're, I think these may be blacks. Oh, there's another one right in front of me. Another one. Oh, yeah. Four guys right in one little area. All right, got four. All right, so what I'm gonna do when this happens is I'm just gonna stay ducked down like I am on my hunker down and I'm gonna look all around in a circle all around me or else you're gonna miss a bunch of them. Like I said in my last mushroom video, many of these dead leaves are the exact same color as the mushrooms and they will be hidden underneath those leaves just barely poking out getting that sun what it is is those leaves keep them warm when it's windy and chilly they will hide under these leaves because the sun beats down on those leaves and they absorb the heat from it so you want to keep that in mind that anytime you find one you should always stop I don't care you should always stop and look completely around you in 360 degrees for about a 10 foot radius around you. Hop, oh, see what I mean? I just found one and I stepped on one earlier and didn't even notice, guys. Walked right over it and smashed it. But the one next to it is a beauty. Look at that. Oh yeah. What a beauty. That one ain't bad either. I didn't kill it completely. I mean, it's still edible. That's a nice yellow there. Now that is a yellow. Tell the difference in the color. Awesome. Got six already, guys, in five minutes time. <laughs> not bad. They're not in big patches. They're kind of spread out.
All right, guys, Wilma just found a bunch when I was at the top of the hill and didn't stop. Wow. They're all blacks, too. About 10 of them, guys. No, he's being telling the truth. Trust me, I know him. He's not lying. He got caught down here and he got permission. But I'm telling you, he was coming here to hunt mushrooms, but because we were here, he went somewhere else. So let's not stay here much longer. In case that guy comes over here. This is exactly where I found all mine. The blacks. And they're still black. God. All right, guys, I just found one black. Right now they're mixed, but there is still more blacks than yellows. He's going where the eagle was to look over there, but it gets hit hard. So see, he was hunting us the same time we were the last couple of years, but we never ran into each other. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, got another black. Damn thorns. God, these thorns are a pain. That's a pretty big black there. Nice one. Oh man, I just found a big one. <clears throat> this is exactly where I found the ones last week. all leaned over <laughs> all right guys I got 15 she's probably got the same we got about 30 already and this is just our first spot we're gonna go do at least two more spots this is where we always find them every time every year it's the same spot where the fence is Careful over there because you're probably going to step on some. You just walked by two of them. <laughs> All right, guys, I just found a double. Wilma just almost stepped on him, walked right past him. Makes 17 for me. That means we can't go across the road then. Walked right by one earlier. Right past it. God, the thorns, man. Damn. Son of a gun. Latching on to me, too. Right my damn shoulder. <clears throat> Lucky if it don't rip my bag. Eventually, probably by before the end of the day, I have to stop and buy a bag. Need a potato bag.
Wilma just found two nice yellows. Take your mask down. Got people in the I know. Get Hold up. All right, guys, I finally found my first one. 20 minutes after she did. Took me that long. I don't know why. Oh. Honey! Come down here! Found three! Alright, it started out as one. Then it turned into two and three. And believe it or not, them are blacks. The first two were yellows. That is a black morel, and so is this one. Holy cow! I would not have thought this late in the season. It is the third week of April, guys. Almost the beginning of the fourth. Tomorrow will be the beginning of the fourth week of April. There's a little baby here. Too small to even do anything with. All right, guys. We got four. Two giant, two big yellows, and two small blacks. They are still blacks on the horizon. And it is 81 degrees today, guys. Not a good sign. The only thing keeping them going is constant rains. We are going to get rain again Sunday and Monday a whole inch. So they will remain for another week. But after that, it's probably going to dry them out. It's rare they last all the way till May. Where I live anyway. But once in a while you get these good years and it is constantly and consistently rained every other day for the last month. That's why it's been such a good year. good picture I'm right on top of him Wow you can't get a better picture than that Mouth. I do not believe they're spotted bass up in this far. Hey, hey. It's a start. Although it is windy here, it's a little forgiving compared to everywhere else we've checked. There ain't really anywhere better we can go. fat belly look how much he inhaled it God, swallowed it large mouth true large mouth it's a female too pregnant belly all right guys on the purple and pink suicide chat not a bad little large mouth It's just long walks between the holes is the problem. And you spook them easy. Got 
Now there is a lot of minnows in that. Here above me. Unfortunately, the sun is blinding me. I got to watch him land and fly out of this nest five times. Okay, you can see it above my head there. He keeps going in and out of it. Trying to hold my camera steady. See if we can catch him going in and out again. He knows we're here and he's spooked. It's maybe the best thing to do would just be to leave it alone. That is a giant nest for sure. He must have young in there. That's neat. Rock. Pretty cool though. Nice Wilma got on her first large mouth, about identical to mine. He's over a pound though. Maybe this is the one I should No spotted bass yet. Yeah, I think so. Hold it up first. I think you're gonna have to go the other. Yeah, you're gonna have to go switch sides because it's real too sunny. He's really pale. Really pale. You can tell the water was really muddy. It almost looks like a small mouth on camera. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a small mouth from far away. It's not though. It's a large amount. Guys, this creek has some really neat rocks in it. Absolute beauties. I've been finding on accident just while walking. Don't pick them. Guys. We weren't even hunting mushrooms today. We were walking a creek, waiting for smallmouth white bass and whatnot. Maybe she was good. walking in the riverbed, Maybe looked over on the bad. bank, and there's just morels as far as you can see. Seven. They're getting dry. They're dry. See, this turned out to be a good day. Eagle, rocks, fish, mushrooms. I'm sure. They're too dry though. They dry, they're completely dried out. They're, they're dry. All right guys, found some more yellow morels. We found a road on accident that has nothing but sycamore trees. It's like every other tree is a freaking sycamore tree. And instantly, five feet from the car, guys, started finding these morels. It just rained last night, which helped matters. Three, at least three. We gotta slow down right here. Look what I'm right by too, sycamore tree. Go ahead and give me the bag, get the bag open. There's one right here in my hand. There's one there and I see one over there, a big one. Oh my. I told you. Oh, it's too far to walk. Mm. Look at that, this one. And there's a giant one over there. I spotted it that far away because it's yellow. Look at this one. Don't, don't 
Nice one here, guys. This is a... They're all over. I bet I'm missing some. See, and the thing is, we can get in the creek bed. It's such a small creek. We can get down there in the creek. Look at this one, though. Man, that's a nice one. Look at this one. Look at that one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a beauty. Growing off a piece of bark. Told you. Okay, we gotta stop and look right here because there's a ton of them for some reason. But they're all several feet apart from each other is what's weird. There's raccoon poop or something. <laughs> 